It's Wednesday, April 1, and time for your Bobby this Today morning news update. Bold and compassionate leadership. That's what the director of the Pan American Health Organization, Dr. Carissa Etienne, said is needed to fight the COVID-19 pandemic. Addressing a virtual media press conference yesterday, Dr. Etienne stated that the pandemic would get worse before it gets better, and as such, countries must take aggressive preventative measures to stem the spread of the contagious virus and save lives. Without solid evidence on effective treatments and no available vaccine at hand, social distancing and other aggressive preventive measures remain our best bet to prevent the most severe consequences of the COVID-19 pandemic in our region. This moment demands bold and compassionate leadership. It will not be easy and we know we will be asking people to adapt to an extraordinary situ situation that is impacting everything in their lives. But let me emphasize this one more time. This pandemic is serious and we need to do everything in our power to mitigate the impact of COVID-19 on our peoples. And the best time to do this is now, before hospitals and health workers get overwhelmed. Dr. Etienne said Powell has scaled up its capacity building to ensure that countries can quickly use the resources available to respond to the outbreak. But she also urged countries to work together by sharing resources. What happens in the coming weeks will highly depend on our joint efforts on working and acting together, even if physically apart. Solidarity in our region has never had deeper meaning than it does today. The only way out of this situation will be if anyone, everyone, like Pops Pardon, does his or her part while supporting others. Countries must work together, sharing resources, expertise, and making joint decisions that accelerate access to health services, promote research and innovation, and increase our ability to cope. PAHO will continue, as it always has, to help facilitate these exchanges between countries. Young people are not immune to the highly contagious COVID-19, so says COVID-19 czar Richard Carter, who explained that young people could get sick from the virus. He warned that the youth could be carriers of the coronavirus and had an obligation not to put others at risk. We have made it clear in all of our communication that even though young persons may get a milder form of COVID or may be better able to deal with it if they get the illness. The, they are by no means immune. They are also by no means at um, zero risk of getting gravely ill. And if we were to look at the, we are reasonably early on in our epidemic, but if we were to look at the data coming out of countries that have had large numbers of cases, there are people who are dying as early as below 10, right through to um, nonagenarians, people over 90 years old. So you, people can die. The second thing is that what we've said to young people, and this message has been repeated several times, that you have a responsibility not just to protect yourself, but to protect your parents, to protect your grandparents, to protect those persons who may live in the household with you. Workers cannot be forced to take vacation where the stipulated 14 days notice has not been issued. That's according to the Barbados Workers' Union amid ongoing debate on the issue following the closure of businesses due to COVID-19. BWU General Secretary Tony Moore said such a move may only apply in cases where the employee agrees to forego the notice period. Where businesses are closed during the shutdown, employers may not force their employees 
to take holiday where the stipulated 14 days notice has not been issued. However, vacation may be applied where the employee agrees to forego the stipulated notice period. The Barbados Workers Union has been working with those employers who can to assist in the national effort by granting employees special leave with pay during this period of reduced commercial activity. However, where there is an employer that is unable to cover workers financially during the period of shutdown and where layoff certificates have been issued, the National Insurance Department will satisfy its obligations as provided for under the National Insurance and Social Security Act and the Employment Rights Act. There's regional and international news after this short break. Barbados Today, news you can trust. To news from our regional neighbors now, Guyana has recorded its second death from COVID-19. This as the country also recorded 12 confirmed cases of the virus. We get more in this report from Capital News. It has been identified as a 38-year-old male and resident of South Georgetown. Reports are that the father of one was admitted to the hospital for another illness, but subsequently tested positive for coronavirus. Deputy Chief Medical Officer Dr. Karen Boyle, during the Ministry of Public Health daily update, said Guyana has confirmed COVID-19 cases increased by four within the last 24 hours. Of the numbers above, the regional breakdown is as follows. One case in Region 3, 10 cases in Region 4, with one inconclusive and one case in Region 6. Of the total confirmed cases, the number of imported cases is four and local transmission, eight. She explained that one of the 11 persons in isolation is in the COVID-19 intensive care unit. Dr. Bo and finally, the United Nations Secretary General, Antonio Guterres, has launched a new plan to counter the potentially devastating socioeconomic impacts of the coronavirus pandemic. The message of the report we are reaching today is clear. Shared responsibility and global solidarity in response to the impacts of COVID-19. It is a call to action. It is essential that developed countries immediately assist those less developed to bolster their health systems and their response capacity to stop transmission. Otherwise, we face the nightmare of the disease spreading like wildfire in the global south with millions of deaths and the prospect of the disease re-emerging where it was previously suppressed. Let us remember that we are only as strong as the weakest health system in our interconnected world. That's news. But for the very latest, visit us at www.barbidestoday.bb. You can also subscribe to our e-paper, email updates, or like us on Facebook, and sign up for our breaking news alerts via WhatsApp. We're also on Izumi Media in bus terminals, as well as screenplay at supermarkets and gas stations near you. And you can also hear us on Mix 96.9 FM and Capital Media HD 99.3 FM.